what is up guys welcome back to another video so i've been thinking about getting a laptop for a few weeks now and just recently about two weeks ago i picked up a gaming laptop that is right so if you guys have noticed this laptop if you guys are familiar with the design this is none other than the asus zephyrus g14 so i thought you know i need a laptop with great performance why not get a gaming laptop so i've been using this laptop for the past two weeks and this is my thoughts and experience of the asus Zephyrus g14 all right first up let's talk about the build quality of this laptop now it weighs about 1.7 kilograms so it is not too heavy for a gaming laptop and the build quality is pretty good there is not much flex on the screen and not much flex on the keyboard as well so i think build quality is pretty decent you can probably throw it in a backpack without a laptop sleeve and everything will be fine so i'm rocking the white design there's also a black color out there so you guys can pick the color that you like okay next up let's talk about the screen so the screen is 1920 by 1080 with a 120 hertz display so some of you guys might think hmm why not a 4k display right right now the craze is all about 4k displays and actually i do think that 1080p is the sweet spot because 4k will really damage your battery life which i'm going to talk about later so 1080p 120Hz display that is the sweet spot and I'm going to touch about why 120Hz is so important on gaming later. So video actually looks great on this ASUS Zephyrus G14. 4K video looks great on this laptop even though it is not a 4K panel. So yeah, colors look great, everything looks nice and I do think that the display is a solid A+. Okay. Next up, touching a bit about video, let's talk about audio. So the speakers, how do the speakers of the laptop sound? Now these are equipped with Dolby Atmos support. So they do have Dolby Atmos features. So sound quality is not too bad with all the Windows laptop out there. However, if you were to compare to something like, let's say a MacBook Pro, it's definitely no comparison. This laptop is definitely weaker as compared to something like the macbook but overall i think it is a great speaker for a windows laptop okay next up let's talk about the keyboard how does the keyboard feel now for gamers out there the spacebar is actually slightly different from traditional laptop so it is a bit longer uh, width wise so be able to use the spacebar better whenever you're gaming other than gaming on the keyboard, the typing experience actually feels great. Tra key travel is great and everything is great. So compared to the MacBook Pro, it did take getting a bit used to, but overall I do think that the keyboard is definitely better than my MacBook Pro and I was still using those butterfly switches. So ASUS Zephyr G14 keyboard definitely is great. Okay, moving down the laptop, let's talk about the trackpad of the ASUS Zephyr G14. Now, it is one of the weak points of this laptop because the ASUS Zephyr G14 actually has quite a tiny trackpad and I don't really like that. I know for Windows laptop, it's not too bad, but you know, I came from a MacBook Pro. So obviously the trackpad has to be big and huge. Now, thank God it has Windows precision drivers, which means be, I will be able to precisely click on wherever I want to without having to worry about anything as well as the palm rejection is great whenever I'm typing however that being said I don't really like the trackpad on the ASUS Zephyr G14 that's why whenever I'm working I do resort to a Microsoft mouse which is always great okay that is all for the whole laptop now let's talk about the specs of this laptop now it is running a Ryzen 9 4900HS and also it has a RDX 2060 graphics card. You can see right here, hopefully you guys can see it, I don't think you can but yeah, it has a RTX card. Now I know it is not the latest generation 3060 but I'll explain to you why later that last year's 2060 is perfectly fine. Also, ready for this, it has a whopping 
40 gigabytes of RAM, which is insane for a laptop. And I'll touch on why later I need 40 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, before I touch about the gaming performance, let's talk about the battery life of this laptop. So battery life, it is about seven to eight hours when I was using it on typical use, such as Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, surfing the web, and casually watching YouTube videos. Now, if I were to do more intense stuff like video editing, photo editing, or let's say running virtual machines, then the laptop battery life will be about three to four hours. Now I know it is not amazing battery life like the M1 MacBook Pros, which can last about 12 hours, 13 hours, but overall for a Windows laptop, I do think seven to eight hours is perfectly fine, perfectly decent, and it is great battery life for a gaming laptop. Okay, finally, let's talk about the gaming performance. How does the ASUS Zephyr G14 game? Now, I did play two games. The first game I played was Valorant. Given that I wasn't too good at the game, I did run at the max settings. And as you can tell from the gameplay, everything is smooth, everything is great. And I was able to kill one guy with the ASUS Zephyr G14. So overall, performance is great on Valorant. Now with the other game, Rocket League, I also played it at max settings. So I think 120 hertz, if I'm not wrong, at the highest graphic settings and everything is great. And I was able to score a goal as well. So anyways, gaming performance is great. And that is why I say I do not need a 3060 graphics card. A 2060 graphics card is perfectly fine for my casual gaming. And for all those gamers out there, I don't really think you need such an expensive graphics card 3060 save you know save about 300 400 dollars and you can just get a 2060 graphics card with the this laptop and you'll be perfectly fine do, do not worry about the performance so the reason why i need 40 gigabytes of ram is because i need to run virtual machines and that's why i need so much ram so yeah if you do not need that much RAM, you can actually save about $100 to $200, get the 8GB model or the 16GB model. Now, touching about pricing now, so pricing, how much does this laptop cost? Now, with my aforementioned specs, it is actually about 2.2K, so about $2,200. Overall, I think it is a decent price for the specs that you get. Of course, if you do not need my version of specs you can price it a bit lower or a bit higher but i don't think you need 40 gigabytes of ram right so you can definitely save about 200 dollars there so i think overall for 2k it is a great laptop okay now overall my experience with this laptop has been great i think for students who really need performance for gaming or video editing photo editing or other stuff I think this laptop is great and if you're willing to shell a little bit of cash on this laptop, I think that this laptop can definitely last you for years. Okay, that is all for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, do subscribe to this channel. Leave a thumbs up on this video. Turn on the bell notification icon so you don't miss my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you guys in my next video. Take care and goodbye.